First off, he never played a really good game. So, look, they deserve to win. I'm just a little bit disjointed, you know, especially especially in the third quarter, you know, allowing them 36 points when we held them to 38 points in the first half. That was disappointing. Um, but they're hard to guard, and they moved the ball well tonight, and that gave us problems. And it seemed like in the second half, we were just reacting to everything they did, so. You know, we've got to find a way, especially without Jason, we've got to find a way to be a little bit more organized on both ends. How do you like your standings in terms of still securing the top four? We've got to win the next game. I don't really know the standings. I don't really look at that stuff too much. It's just uh, how do we find a way to play a little bit better against Magnolia and, and hopefully find a way to give ourselves a chance to win. Pretty good. I mean, he's had three practices with us. It's never easy. You know, we run some different stuff to what he's used to, and you know, it would be obviously much easier if Jason was here, just allowing him to play more the natural role that he's going to play when he comes back. So we're kind of scrambling on two on two fronts now. So I was happy with him. I, I thought he played good, especially at the end game. I thought he gave us a chance to get back in the game and tie it up. So no, I was happy with him. Oh look, I think it's just the guys understanding the shots they're going to get. You know, that's all changing again. So, you know, we, we desperately need his presence out there, and it's not easy for the other guys when they've been used to playing a certain role, and now you're asked to play a different role. So, you know, I think in eight days Ray will be a little bit better, he'll be a little bit more comfortable in his role, and and hopefully we look a little bit better on the next day. Thank you guys,